This film supplements the instructions for use and serves to aid understanding. This film is not a substitute for reading and understanding the instructions for use. It is also not a replacement for mandatory instructions or training courses. Not all products, features or services mentioned in this video are available for sale in all countries. Contact your local Draeger representative for more information. Mentioned trademarks are only registered in certain countries and not necessarily in the country in which this material is released. Go to draeger.com slash trademarks to find the current status. The Explore 8000 system from Draeger provides maximum respiratory protection without increased breathing resistance, even during long periods of long use. In combination with the Explore 8000 welding visors, the system provides additional protection for the eyes and face during welding work. The system consists of the following components. A Draeger Explore 8500 or 8700 powered air purifying respirator, a standard battery or a battery with increased capacity, preferably a combination filter for particles and gases, a special welding belt, a standard or flexible hose with a spark-proof hose cover, and a headpiece, in this case a welding visor with integrated automatic darkening filter module. In the following video, we will show you how to prepare the powered air purifying respirator system for use, how to don the welding visors and what to consider after use. Outside the hazardous area, select the system components according to your required protection level and area of application. After selection, carry out a visual and functional check. Check the charging status of the battery by pressing the blue button. The charging status is indicated by the green flashing LED display. To insert the battery, hold it in your hand so that the blue locking button is facing upwards and the contacts are facing the unit. Place the battery in the battery compartment and press until it audibly clicks into place. To insert a filter, first remove the splash guard from the unit by pressing the blue filter locking button. For a new combi filter, remove the protective frame if necessary and check the rubber seal for damage. In the case of a gas or combination filter, the colored marking on the inside points downwards towards the unit. Insert the filter into the powered air purifying respirator at an angle. Then place the splash guard lid over it. The lid audibly clicks into place when correctly positioned. To connect the carrying system to the powered air purifying respirator, the markings on the connection plate of the support system and on the pickup point of the unit will guide you. Place the upper edge of the connecting plate at an angle to the unit. The markings must match in each case. Now press the connection plate in until it audibly clicks into place on the unit. Put the spark protection cover over the hose. Next, connect the breathing hose. Place the hose connection on the coupling of the device. Slightly turn the hose connection until it audibly clicks into place. Make sure that the ADF module is integrated in the visor and that the cable inside is connected to the outside button. If necessary, remove the protective films from the visors. Check if the visor has a textile closure and that it seals properly. Then visually inspect the entire visor, including the closure, for damage and completeness. Check the battery level of the ADF module. If the red control lamp of the battery indicator lights up, replace the battery by removing the ADF module. 
Select the recommended darkening level in advance to suit your application. You can choose between the individual darkening levels, that is, 5 to 8 for cutting and 9 to 13 for welding. The middle setting changes the sensitivity and the left setting changes the delay time from dark mode to the light mode. If your application changes, set the optimal modes again. Before each use, the function of the ADF module must be checked by using the test button. A short darkening of the module confirms the proper function. Adjust the headband to your desired head width and height. In addition, you can also adjust the distance of the visor to the face using the side mechanism. For this, open the respective side flap. Use the grey turning screws on the exterior and then move the position of the headband. Fix your desired position by tightening the turn screws and close the side flaps. To put on the device, fold the belt over and fix it according to your size. To adjust protruding belt ends, guide the ends through the tabs. Next, activate the unit. Turn the unit to the front and press the green button on the control panel. After switching it on, the unit will perform a self-test. If the device does not run properly or warning signals are triggered, a malfunction has occurred. This must be rectified before use. Please refer to the operating instructions. If the powered air purifying respirator is operating correctly, the indicators on the control panel light up green. The unit will automatically set the lowest possible volume flow. However, you can also regulate the volume flow yourself using the plus and minus keys in three stages on the control panel. Connect the hose to the headpiece. Widen the closure on the visor and put it on. Pull the closure under the chin and make sure that the ruffle band is on the inside. You can adjust the head circumference on the back of the visor to your desired size using the ratchet by pushing and turning. Then tighten the drawstrings in the chin area and check the ceiling line. The grey locking screws on the sides allow you to fix or loosen the pivotability of the entire visor. To switch on the grinding mode, press the button on the outside of the visor for two seconds. The internal LED then flashes green every three seconds. First remove the protective foils of the various visors if necessary. Make sure that the automatic darkening filter module is integrated in the visor. Then check whether the visor has a seal and whether this seals correctly. Visually inspect the entire visor, including the cover, for damage and completeness. Open the visor and turn it to operate the ADF module. Activate the module using the ON mode button and check the battery level on the digital display. Change the batteries by removing the ADF module if they are empty. Select the recommended settings in advance to suit your application. Use the ON mode button to switch between the modes for grinding, cutting and welding. You can also set the switching time, the sensitivity and the darkening mode by pressing the function key. Use the arrow keys to select between the individual darkening levels. Level 4 for grinding, 5 to 8 for cutting, and 9 to 13 for welding. Adjust the settings again if your application changes. Fold down the darkening visor. Adjust the three head straps to your desired head width and height. In addition, 
you can adjust the appropriate distance of the visor to your face using the side mechanism. Operate the lock slider on the slider on the sides and place the stopper in one of the four steps provided. Each step audibly clicks into place. For angle adjustment, push the pin out of the detent. If this is difficult, loosen the grey locking screws on the outer side slightly. Moreover, the side windows can be covered with a privacy flap. To do this, you must first remove the ADF module. Put on the device, fold the belt over and fix it according to your size. To adjust protruding belt ends, guide the ends through the tabs. Next, activate the unit. Turn the unit to the front and press the green button on the control panel. After switching it on, the unit will perform a self-test. If the device does not run properly or warning signals are triggered, there is a malfunction. This must be rectified before use. You will find information on this in the operating instructions. If the powered air purifying respirator is operating correctly, the indicators on the control panel light up green. The unit will automatically set the lowest possible volume flow. However, you can also regulate the volume flow yourself using the plus and minus keys in three stages on the control panel. Connect the hose to the headpiece. Widen the closure on the visor and put it on. Pull the closure under the chin and make sure that the ruffle band is on the inside. You can adjust the head circumference on the back of the visor to your desired size using the ratchet. Then tighten the drawstrings in the chin area and check the ceiling line. The grey locking screws on the sides allow you to fix or loosen the pivotability of the entire visor. During use, you can fold down the darkening visor. If you do not require the darkening mode, it can be easily folded up and you have a normal visor for further activities. The system is now ready for use. First, loosen the drawstring, widen the cuff and then remove the headpiece. Switch off the powered air purifying respirator by pressing the green button for approximately two seconds. Disassemble the system and clean the components according to the instructions for use. The breathing filter must be disposed of properly after use.